Thanks for uh, coming by this afternoon. There we go. My name is Jeff Hafey. I'm from the Columbus office, uh, Columbus, Ohio office of Plant Moran. And today we're going to talk about uh, Be the Change, Forging New Alliances. So what you see on the screen there is just a few examples of a lot of potential transactions or alliances or mergers and acquisitions that are going on right now. Um, there, are a bunch, there are formal ones and informal discussions going on right now, a lot of which uh, revolve around ACOs, MCOs, and we'll get into that in just a second. So for organizations to be successful in the future, we truly believe that uh, change is going to lead to opportunity which will end up being successful. So we're going to need to, need to rebrand our senior communities going forward. The concept, uh, the word you see there, coopetition, is a merger of competition and uh, competitors and then cooperation going forward. So we look for organizations that can find their strengths and come together to work uh, together in the future. Uh, in order to be successful, one of the areas that we're emphasizing with our clients right now is to become very data oriented. So you need to be bloodhounds for data. You have to seek that information and continue to dig. So for example, on the revenue side, one of the questions we always look at is how successful are you benchmarking your organization against other organizations from a census perspective, whether it's uh, nursing home, independent living, assisted living, and particularly on the Medicare side, your Part A and your managed care. Your partners that you're gonna to talk to, which could be hospitals, home health agencies, senior living organizations, are looking for value. So what we try to determine is what is your value equation? What are those partners looking for? And what we always recommend people to do is to start with a SWOT analysis of your organization. What are your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and external threats that you have how do those match up with your potential alliance partners? So what are some of the partners looking for that are out there? They're obviously, uh, not only the partners, but consumers are looking for curb appeal. So how does your organization set itself up for the future, uh, particularly from a curb appeal standpoint? Have you modernized? One of the things we always talk about also is, what is your two minute elevator speech? So when you walk out and run into that uh, CEO from an organization, what can you tell about your facility or your organization to a hospital executive or a home health executive that will tell the story of your organization? And of course, your partners are going to look for value. They're going to look for value in terms of not only profitability, but they're going to look for value in terms of quality, most importantly, in terms of resident delivery. Uh, organizations in the future are going to need to be lean, meaning that you're going to be constantly looking at operational issues. Uh, from an expense perspective and other things along that way. So you truly need to understand your benchmarking information and be able to dig into that data. There's three things the partners are uh, looking for going forward. Uh, the first one is an investment in technology, particularly around electronic health records and medical records from that perspective. So one of the questions would be how much are we doing in that area? The second area is, again, the continued investment in the back office. We, again, getting back to the bloodhounds or the data hounds, we need to look and be able to mine that data in terms of financial performance and be able to show how we're doing in all these areas. And as, as we continue to all strive for more subacute type residents to take care of on the Medicare and the managed care side, we're gonna need to invest from an education perspective with our clinical staff so they can be top shelf and being able to deliver those issues. Switching gears a little bit away from ACOs to managed care organizations, uh, managed care organizations or insurance companies are clearly looking for efficiency. So how do we stack up from an efficiency perspective? Again, in order to be able to do that, we need to know our cost structure. So these uh, partners or organizations are looking for you to be able to deliver quality care in a 15 to 20 day window period of time um, to deliver that quality of care and still be efficient from an organization perspective. So ultimately what we're striving for is trying to balance out how do we have a quality organization going forward in terms of delivering quality and still be able to be an efficient and profitable organization going forward. Um, organizations that understand some of these four or five key variables, particularly understanding your data 
internally should set themselves up real well going forward um, from a partnership perspective. So we would be happy if you'd like to stop by our booth 1906, visit some of our change agents that are over there, and we'll be happy to show you um, uh, some of the solutions that uh, we've come up with and some of our clients have come up with. Thank you.